Okay, so the last tutorial in Anatomy 1, our focus was on this horizontal bar up here where we covered uh, the, the features in the regional systemic clinical and dissection guide, the things that you have with that horizontal bar. I'd like to now focus on this huge part of the real estate on the screen of Anatomy 1. What is that all doing there? Well, when I created Anatomy 1, I wanted to then create a comprehensive reference uh, anatomy reference tool, the most comprehensive one where you could look at anatomy regionally and uh, and all the categories there. You could cover anatomy systemically or clinically or dissection wise. And so there's uh, 95 modules, 150 modules, 455 modules, and 45 modules within each of those. But at the same time, I want to make it so it could be catered towards any curriculum. And so I think of these this horizontal bar like a grocery store. But when you walk in with your shopping cart in a grocery store as a professor, you don't, you're not going to get every single feature in the store. You need something catered. So you want to make spaghetti. That's all you want to make. So you need noodles. You go to one aisle and get your noodles. And you need spaghetti sauce. You go to another one. You're like, I want vegetables. And I like onions and some mushrooms. You go to another part of the grocery store. And I want French breads. You go to another part. And you're picking and choosing and putting things in your cart. This is your cart or as me as a professor, is what I'm going to put in my cart. So what I've done is the professor has gone through, have taken specific modules out of all of these areas and placed them here for the student to see. So for me, I go up to change and I go under and it says, look, Anatomy of Foundations of Medicine 2015. I click on that and shing! Now, under current learning plan, this is specifically catered to you as um a medical student at the University of Utah in the fall of 2015 for Foundations of Medicine. So how do you get this? Once you have your Anatomy One login, what I'm going to do is the following. Share, and what I want you to do is to click over here on the screen in YouTube. This link is also in your Canvas site about how to populate it. And oh, wait for a second, you click. And what should happen then is it should populate in your Anatomy One this feature. Okay? Awesome. So now here you have the same grocery cart that I as the professor have provided for every single one of you. And to help them make it more specific, week by week of the entire course, I have placed your required reading. So the first week of Foundations of Medicine, the anatomy you will be required to know are back muscles and vertebral column. And so these are the chapters, and we call them modules, that you're required to do. And so required to know this is your required reading. So if we click on vertebral column, here we've got all the content within vertebral column you're required to know. Now, one of the things to help, again, focus the study for you as a med student is that I've gone through this module like I would in chapters and say, you know what, there's 20 pages in this. I'm only getting the students to learn pages 50 to 60. And you don't have to know 60 to 67, but you do have to know 67 to 70. So what I've done is I've filtered this content and I've gone through and removed some things. Now, I don't want to minimize your education. If you're like, I want to learn, I'm going into, I want to become a back surgeon, I want to learn vertebral column, you click here and you go remove filter and shing, all of that content is now revealed, all in all of its glory in here. And then you get to the point you're studying for the test and you're like, all right, now what do I really need to know? I'm going to apply the filter again and it adds it as well. Wonderful. Now, when you, you want to just test yourself on just vertebral column, like we did before, you click start new assessment, there's 17 questions, begin assessment, and you just test yourself on just vertebral column. Okay, awesome. Wonderful. Let's go back here for a minute. Now, another thing that each of these has, and so you'll notice in blue, these are all regional chapters because they're blue. I'll have systemic chapters as we go. And then down here, it says back radiographs. Now, one of the things I've done as your professor is I've taken these five to 6,000 images and thousands of radiograph images. I'm like, they don't have to know all those radiograph images. So I've created one atlas of back radiographs that you need to know. And here we have them. Okay, so then this module and this week, there's 16 radiographic images that I expect you to be able to know the anatomy here. And so when it comes to the deep back muscles, we click on here and we're going to see, oh, take a look at these. And we're going to see um, different structures in the anatomy that you would be required to know. I, again, draw your attention to the labels that if you just wanted to take a look at where's the vertebral body, it will show you where that is. And if you wanted to just make this a clean image, you could do that as well. All right, wonderful. And then all those images in the atlas are also located here. All right, fantastic. So there's 
So every single module is going to have the following. Modules to read, and at the end of every week is a radiographic atlas specifically catered to you. Now, one other thing I wanted you to point out is that you could study just vertebral column and, and mus questions on that, superficial back muscles and just questions on that. But look over here, under week one, you've got this chart and you roll over, it says assess yourself on this section. So look at this. So instead of just getting 17 questions on vertebral column, we go shing. And now we can all, there are 49 questions on all the modules in week one back muscles and vertebral column. So think of now preparing for an assessment. Hey, I wanna test myself on all this stuff from week one for anatomy. And now you can. Now there's one little glitch so far in the software we've got to fix. Notice how there's 49 questions here. You should be able to click this and you get 49 questions, but it doesn't work. So what you have to do is click in this box and go 49 and now begin assessment. And now you're gonna have 49 questions that you can go through and practice and just reiterate that if you click something and it's wrong, whenever you get the right answer, it'll tell you the teaching point that you can see while you learn and then you go forward to the next question and so forth, okay? And you can track yourself and how you've done. Um, and to see how you're doing on your assessments. And so what you need to ensure you do is that to have all of these out, uh, to have this, your anatomy one that says U of U School of Medicine, Anatomy for Foundations of Medicine 2015, it should say this after uh, you click on that link. This is what we're gonna be using. Here's our grocery cart for Foundations of Medicine. I expect each of you to use these modules each week while you're watching the videos to be able to go into reference and find information that you're weak on. And I expect you, after we have face-to-face -face time in the classroom solving problems, to go through all of the questions that are found and assess yourself in this section to go through to, see, to help ensure you solidify these uh, concepts. And so that is now Anatomy 1 catered to you as a University of Utah medical student in Foundations of Medicine.